Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I like to create signs and sell most of them locally right now. I also like to create designs, which I use on many of my own projects. I sell designs in my Etsy shop and now on Creative Fabrica. I have a growing number of designs on my blog at sayitwithsimplicity.com and I'll leave some links down in the description box so that you can check those out. But what I've shared mostly on my YouTube channel is what I'm learning about using creative design programs. And I occasionally share some projects, but most of the tutorials that I have are using Silhouette Studio to create designs. And what I wanted to share with you today is how you can create your own stencil designs in Silhouette Studio. On my blog, again, sayitwithsimplicity.com, I have a couple of stencil designs in that free SVG library. But you can make these in Silhouette Studio with fonts of your choosing. And then you can cut reusable stencils and make multiple projects without having to cut vinyl. And I especially like this option from the standpoint of that um, you're not throwing anything away. You can, you know, you eventually you'll throw your stencil away maybe. You can make a number of signs with the same stencil. And you can see here's a stencil I actually cut out and used for the project here. And this is just a little Farm Fresh Pumpkins sign that I made. I didn't buy any special stencil fonts for this. I'm going to show you the technique, how I created those. And um, this is also a design that I drew and I made into a stencil. And if you go here, if you go to my blog, this is the little picture that you'll see where you can um, get that for immediate download. And this is the actual cut file. Um, you can kind of see here if you put that over, you know, that. This is about an, this little sign was about a seven and a half by seven and a half sign. And if I double click on this, you can see I have all my editing points and everything on that design. So that's my actual design that I cut with the Cameo. Now the stencil material that I used was this this transparency film. Now this is a little bit old school guys but I have a overhead projector. Now I picked this up a long time ago and now it's sort of sitting like a dinosaur in the corner sort of a thing but I had some transparency film that my son had purchased for me at a thrift store for using with that overhead projector. And I really haven't used any of it. And so I had that all and I got this idea that I could use it to make some stencils. Now, if you go to the blog, somewhere back around Valentine's Day, I made some little reusable stencils on some wooden heart cutouts that I made. And you can check that out if you want to go visit there. But I found that transparency film to be somewhat durable in creating reusable stencils. And this held up really well for three signs. I did end up bending this a little bit and you can kind of see that it's sticking up there a little bit, but I did get some stencil spray now and I'm going to actually try using this a couple more times to see how it works out. But I just think that it, it really helps speed up your process and your productivity if you can continue to use something over and over and not have to weed designs out of vinyl and you know transfer them to your wood and then pull it all off after you're done painting and then weed out all your letters again and stuff and so that's kind of why I wanted to get started at using the reusable stencils a little bit. So I'm just going to open up a new document here
and we're going to go through how I create those stencil fonts in Silhouette Studio and how I turn them into a cut file to make a stencil with your Cameo. So let's go ahead and add some text. And I'm going to go, I, whoops, I love ball. Let's resize that. And maybe I'm just going to put this onto like a piece of one by two. So let's change our type style to something a little bit more fun. And I'm going to go to this, you're my type. And let's just resize that. I'm going to put that on a one by two, which is going to be about 1.75. And this is going to be a little shelf sitter sign. I can make this a little bit bigger. Let's just sort of center that up to see what it looks like. And maybe I made it a little bit too big. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to move my little, little rectangle away. And now this is, if this was actually a one by two, um, so I would cut my one by two to about roughly nine inches. And um, of course, you know, it's already going to be that 1.75 height. And that would make a cute, like I said, shelf sitter sign. So let's zoom in on this and see what we have going on here. First, I'm going to convert this to path. And I'm going to make a compound path. Now, once you've made a compound path, you can point edit this, and that's what I'm looking for here. And I'm going to show you like three different ways that I use different tools in the studio so that you don't have to just use one particular way. Now, you don't necessarily have to bridge the eye here, so I'm just going to leave that one. And I'm going to grab the knife tool. I like to bridge some of my long and tall letters, especially these like the L where you have this sticking out, because what happens when you have a reusable stencil is this kind of, you know, f almost becomes a flap in a way. So I like to, to do some bridges on some of those letters as well, even when there's not a middle to fall out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take my knife tool and I'm going to slice and see what happens is it's sliced already. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to uncheck that auto apply. And now let's hold down the shift key, make a straight line down with the knife and you can change your knife thickness with your um, line style panel. And let's bump that up to a, let's do five. And now you can see that you have um, a thicker knife. And I'm going to just sort of line that up right against my letter there and click apply. And now I have my bridge cut out. Let's zoom in here and see what we got going on. I don't like that little jagged edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my A button on my keyboard and I'm just going to take out a couple of these points. I can just delete them. And now that's a little bit more straight up and down and I don't have that jagged edge. So let's go ahead and go over to our O. And we can do the same thing here. We can 
hold down our shift key, go right to that O. You know, if now, right now you can't see your centering tools because the knife tool is active. So, but you can still go ahead and you can go to um, select both of these with your mouse and go to object modif or object align center and that'll bring that knife into the center here and now you can go ahead click off of that select your knife and make that into a let's see what did we use did we use five make that into a five click apply and now you have that same cutout out of your O. Let's go ahead and continue on, but let's try another way to make um, those bridges. So I'm going to make a rectangle here, and I'm going to make my width of my rectangle, well it's already at 0.49, but let's go 0.05. And now I'm going to bring that rectangle down. And I'm going to mouse over both of these. And I'm going to go to Object, Modify, Subtract. And now that takes that rectangle away and bridges that letter. And I can go here again, and if I want to remove any points, I can. And let's do that same thing on another one. And let's go to 0 0.05. Mouse over both, object, modify, subtract, and there again, if you wanted to clean some of this up, you could do that. Um, let's just leave that for now. I want to go over here to the A because the A is the place where you're going to have this middle that's going to fall out of your stencil if you don't bridge that. And another way that you can go ahead and do that is go to um, make a line and I'm just going to bring my line down um, at that same angle right there on my A. And now I can use that line style panel, 0 0.05. Or, okay, sorry guys. Let's go to five points. That's what it is. And now even though that's a line, I've thickened it up and I can go to my object, modify, subtract again. And now that took out that section and bridged that letter. And you'll see what I mean by the bridge in just a minute. You probably know already, but I'm going to just delete a couple of these extra points. I can even simplify that. But now you have that little gap that's going to help keep that A in. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do all of these just for time's sake. But let's zoom out here. And let's grab that little rectangle. Let's go ahead and group all these or even make compound path again because once I sliced into those I kind of destroyed my compound path there so um, you could either group them or make them into a compound path and now I'm going to center these up and let's make this um, red let's make this black and now you can see that the black rectangle is in the front. Let's send it to the back. And now um, you can see what your stencil would look like and it would cut out okay. But let's go back 
And if you want to make this into an SVG file and save it to your computer, let's go up to Object, Modify, Subtract, and now you have that knocked out of there so you can see the gray through. And when you go to your Send panel, you'll have your little bridge designs in there that will cut out with the rest of your file. And now when you save this to your computer, you'll actually be saving your little stencil cut file um, instead of just the text. Now you can bridge your script fonts as well. I'm going to go to my other screen here. And I'm going to bring in, this is opened up in Inkscape. And this is actually a stencil that I made for a class that I taught um, back in January, I think it was. And you can see where I bridged. This had the little flourish or the added glyph to it. And I'm, you know, bridged here before and after and up here. Just so that I wouldn't have, like, places where like I said before, where you're going to have like that big flap. And so that's going to help me keep that stencil design down as I'm stenciling and um, keep those middles intact. And you can kind of see here. Now, you could go ahead then when you're done and you could paint over all these little bridge areas after you get done stenciling. And I did a sign like that and it turned out really nice. So, you know, it's just something to think about. You can definitely, you know, use these techniques to create those stencils and use your silhouette or your Cricut to cut them out. So that's how I create stencils in Silhouette Studio. I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. Remember, you can go ahead and if you want to just grab a stencil to try, you can find that on my blog, sayitwithsimplicity.com. If you've used reusable stencils, what do you think of them? Do you use your Cameo or do you use another cutting machine to make them? And what's your favorite material to cut them out? Um, I've tried Mylar and I've tried Duralar. If you have an older Cameo, I think it's recommended that you use like the four mil or less mylar to cut them with. I know that that blessed sign stencil that I used, I tried a little bit thicker, I think um, six mil mylar. And it took me an awful lot of passes to get that cut out. I eventually got it done. And I also tried it on my Cricut. The Cricut cut it a little bit better, but that's why I'd say, you know, make sure that you always use your test cut settings so that, you know, you know if it's going to cut out. Like I said, you know, using these reusable stencils, it may take you some time to set them all up and get all those bridges made in your software. But once you do that and you have a stencil, now you can go ahead and you can make a lot of signs quickly and easily. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to be notified of future Silhouette Studio tutorials on Say It With Simplicity, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And also hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Again, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now!